Welcome to 12 Hop Flop. I'm your host, Floppy, hopping right into your ears with wisdom and whisker twitches from a rabbit's world, exploring how nonverbal cues silently shape our communication. Today, my furry friends, we burrow deep into tales of tail twitches, interpreting body language and nonverbal cues. In the warren of social interaction, much like in the wild, Understanding the silent signals can be the difference between finding the choicest clover patch or ending up with just a mouthful of dirt. As a rabbit, I am a master of nonverbal communication. Every flick of an ear, every hop and each subtle nose twitch is a sentence in the story I'm telling. But it's not just us bunnies. Humans too converse volumes without saying a word. Let's hop into it. Your body language, much like my tail twitches, speaks for you before you even utter a sound. For us rabbits, a tail twitch can indicate excitement or irritation. For humans, crossing your arms might show you're defensive or simply cold. The key is context. Imagine yourself in a meadow or a human equivalent, like a coffee shop. If you're like another bunny who wants to socialize, your body language is open and inviting but if you're feeling thumper thunder and you want some personal clover munching space, your body will close off. Just like when I tuck my tail in and give the stink eye to tell others to back off. Humans, your eyes are the windows to your souls and they're mighty telling. When another bunny wants to challenge me, their stare is steady and unblinking, much like when your boss holds your gaze for that extra second to assert dominance and then there's the power of the pause. In rabbit circles, we freeze to signal to others something's amiss. In your world, pausing before you respond can convey thoughtfulness or even discomfort. Learning to read these silence is like sniffing the air for the scent of coming weather. It tells you more than you might expect. Now, about those elusive micro-expressions. Those are the fleeting emotional signals that scurry across your face faster than a spooked rabbit in a cabbage patch. They're the genuine articles, the raw niblets of how someone's truly feeling, often escaping before the social mask hops back into place. Fascinatingly, these split-second emotions can reveal joy, surprise, anger or sadness before a person's even conscious of it themselves. Have you ever sat near a fully stocked food bowl, only to have that slow boiling feeling of contentment settle over you? That's what a genuine smile feels like. It's not just in the lift of the lips, it's the crinkle around the eyes, much like when I'm blissfully munching on a delicious carrot and my eyes half close. But what about when the body shouts a discordant tune to the words being spoken? Imagine I thump an alarm but insist everything's bunny dandy. You'd question that, right? If a human's body is tense, their smile taut, yet they claim to be fine, that's your cue to read between thalines sometimes we all need someone to notice when our ears are down, even as we tell the world they're up. As we near the end of today's hopscapade, let's remember that the dance of communication is intricate. Like a bunny navigating a new warren, take the time to be observant, remain curious and reflect on the nonverbal coups around you. Your world will become richer for it. You'll connect on a deeper level understand others better and even recognize your own silent stories that your body is narrating on your behalf. I hope today's tailor has been as delightful for you as a fresh patch of dandelions on a sunny day. Before I bound off, I ask you to subscribe to the friendly burrow of 12 Hop Flop and leave a review or comment with your thoughts. Your feedback is like finding a new lush corner of the garden to explore. Thank you for listening. Keep your ears perked, your tail twitched honest, and your non-verbal cues as fascinating as a meadow dance under the moonlight. Until next time, this is Floppy, signing off. Keep hopping along, and I'll catch you on the next rabbit trail.